morning. If I could get you all to come in and find a seat, we're ready to begin. I trust you found the workshops this morning to be informative and helpful to you and, and your school business. And uh, I'd like to thank the presenters for being here this morning. We uh, tried this out, I think, new this year for the first time, isn't it, Robert? The uh, workshops on Friday morning. So I uh, hope we were able to touch some <coughs> important subject matter for you and uh, very happy that you could participate in that. I'd like to welcome you to our awards ceremony, one of the highlights for me during our week of conference. I'm very glad that you could join us for this. We have a number of awards to make, so at this time I'd like to introduce our incoming CAPS president for 2012, Linnell Lynch. Thank you, Rick. This is a very special time because it does remind us and focus us back on what our core purpose is, our students and their success. The CAPS Memorial Scholarship Fund is operated by the CAPS Nonprofit Foundation, and this was created to honor those who were giants in our sector, who unfortunately left us way too quickly. But before they left, they created such a lasting impression of their service and dedication to our association and to the in industry, who was inspired to create the scholarship in their name. Many thanks to our generous donors that include CUNET, David Pyle, Sally McAlbernis, the Bellis Academy, and many other organizations and individuals that have contributed this year to our nonprofit. And that is an ongoing contribution that you can make throughout the year to provide scholarships. So now I would like to welcome to the podium Jeff Akins to give our first scholarship. Well, I'm going to have to sit up here. I'm at least going to get a round of applause, right? Thanks, everybody. Well, I'm really excited and save the big applause for um, this person that I'm going to be introducing. Um, really proud of the fact that I get a chance to uh, present this year's Sue Fleming Award. Sue Fleming is somebody that I worked with for a lot of years and was just a really dynamic person in this industry. And so I'm really glad that the, uh, that the committee always takes special care in choosing this particular award and finding somebody uh, that Sue herself would be very proud of. And this year, we have someone who uh, we're very proud of. She is a student at uh, San Joaquin Valley College in Bakersfield, a great campus that uh, I've been to, I think, once at some point in the, in the past, and uh, uh, really impressed with that school and uh, very impressed with, uh, with this individual in the short time I've got to meet her here this morning. She's a respiratory therapy student. She got inspired to um, enroll in that program after uh, working with her grandfather's uh, bout with lung cancer a few years ago and was so impressed by how a respiratory therapist helped him with his recovery that she elected to pursue uh, a career in this field as well. She is uh, part way through the program. She's got uh, about, sounds like about uh, eight or nine months left in the program, but working very diligently at it and uh, very proud to get to meet her this morning and present this award to Sarah Custer. award is the Norma Ford Memorial Scholarship and presenting that is her husband Doug Ford. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, it is again my pleasure to be able to do present the scholarship in uh, uh, Norma's name. Just a couple of comments. Uh, during Norma's three and a half years uh, of a fight with ovarian cancer, she developed a great uh, deal of respect for all the nurses who cared for her. She would be proud to know that a scholarship in her name uh, would provide much needed financial support for some top-notch nursing students. I'm lucky or fortunate enough to have got two today. And um, the first recipient is uh, Adrian Rico C., American Career College. Adrian is a vocational nursing student at American Career at their Ontario campus. Adrian is passionate about helping others. It is important to him that every time he leaves a patient's room, 
that patient is smiling and feels well treat, uh, cared for. He continually strives to improve himself and hopes that nursing care, uh, the nursing care he provides will make a positive difference in this patient's life. Adrian uh, will complete his vocational nursing program in November of 2011. I guess we'll have Adrian you want to come up. Our second recipient is uh, Desmond Rayford from CES College. Uh, Desmond is enrolled in the vocational nursing program, as I said, at CES College in Burbank. He works several nights a week in order to pay for his daily living expenses and educational costs, often working the 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift before going to class. Desmond has raised, was raised by a single mother and faced financial hardships uh, growing up. He suffered from a speech impediment that, was uh, that a medical procedure in 2008 helped correct. But as Desmond's instructors at CES College attest, one would never know that Desmond has had anything but positive experiences in his life. Desmond. Thank you and congratulations. It's my honor now to present the Bonnie Manley Scholarship Award that goes to students attending CAPS member schools in the cosmetology, aesthetics, and massage area. And Bonnie was a true leader in the industry of cosmetology and my husband's partner for many years in the cosmetology industry. She led the NACAS, our accrediting agency, for over eight years, and she was the first president um, as a NACAS commissioner. She truly was an inspiration to the industry. She was highly dedicated, but her passion was every day for the students and for their future. And we fondly say at Bellis now that beauty does change lives, and it's my distinct honor to introduce this year's Bonnie Manley Scholarship recipient, Carolina Alvar Alvarado. She is a massage therapist, entering one of those industries that um, we're honored to say the U.S. Department of Labor is projecting a 20% growth, so we know you're set for success. Um, Carolina is a student at the Northwest College in West Covina. She's a single mother with two young children. She faces her financial and time challenges as she juggles life and children, but she maintains a 4.0 GPA. Together, she has a dream of a better life, and she says, thanks to Northwestern College, I'm accomplishing my dreams. Let's please give a round of applause for Carolina. And now for our final award, the Mike McKell Memorial Scholarship, Sally McKell Burmis will be presenting. Welcome, Sally. I'm honored to be here to present this award, especially because um, it recognizes immigrants and the family of immigrants. Um, my father boarded a plane in 1966 from Cairo, Egypt with $11 in his pocket and a dream and came to this country and changed the lives of many, many people in the process. So we're honored to present this award to Jonathan Dominguez, who is attending Kaplan College in Vista, California. Uh, he's a criminal justice student, four months away from graduation. He comes from a humble family in the roots of Mexico, rooted in Mexico. And uh, he's here uh, to accept this award and uh, pursue his uh, career in the criminal justice field. Uh, he'd like to attend the police academy next year, and so we'll look forward to seeing him protecting us in the future. Congratulations. Okay. And now we would just like one quick moment for one group shot. So if we could ask everyone to please rise and our photographers so we can have one wonderful shot of uh, congratulating 
all of our scholarship winners and anyone else that would like to join them for a photo up front, any family or school owners that would like a picture. Yes, please. It's your one shot, your opportunity to post, post it on Facebook. Go back home. <laughs> Get organized. <laughs> That's that big money smile. Okay, let's get see the big $3,000 smile. <laughs> all right, wonderful. You can exit the stage and let's give them all a wonderful round of applause. Rick. Isn't this the most fun ever, really? I mean, kind of makes you forget all that stuff that went on in some of these workshops an hour or so ago. <laughs> Reminds us of why we do what we do and how important it is. 